Hi, this is Johnny Walker, and welcome along to the podcast that opens the door to an alternative view of life and shines a little light on those who are trying to make a difference. This week, in the words from Monty Python's Flying Circus, and now for something completely different. Hello and a warm welcome to the podcast. Well, this week, as I say, something a little bit different. Where I live in North Dorset, just about 10 minutes drive away from the house, is a little village called Fontwell Magna. And there, Suzanne, with the help of her husband, Robert, have constructed the most wonderful yoga retreat and sanctuary. Uh, They made use of an old chapel and they've turned it into the most magnificent space with a wonderful hospitality room when you first walk in. And uh, then you go through a door and into the main hall. And recently, Suzanne booked a couple from Canada, Marie, known as MJ, and Dean, who together have a band that used to be called Chants and Drums and is now known as Sacred Fire. And the idea was for, uh, I said in the podcast, about 20 people, but in fact it was near 30, went along and lay down on the floor on yoga mats. And the idea was to sort of have a meditation experience And you wouldn't think you could have wonderful, relaxing meditation with really loud drums uh, being played. But it was absolutely fantastic. So we'll start the podcast by going in to the chapel part of the yoga sanctuary. And I did a little sound check and recorded it and then played it back to Dean. And he goes, wow, sounds, sounds like we're in Wembley Arena. So there was a wonderful echo in there. And the actual performance they gave lasted about an hour and a half. And in keeping with our normal 30-minute duration, I've made a few edits here and there, but you definitely get a flavour of what the evening was like. And if possible, if you could relax, sit down, lie down, it would be really good to wear headphones and just really relax and just let the whole thing kind of wash over you and see how it makes you feel. So over now to Marie and Dean in the Yoga Sanctuary. So that's what we could call a sound check. (laughs) <laughs> Hello, Marie. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Dean? I'm doing great. Yeah, nice to meet you. So what, what can people expect tonight? So how would you describe what you do? Well, we uh, invite people to release their tensions and to open up their physical body, their emotional body, spiritual body, uh, and so that once the tensions are released, the energy can flow. And all of this to create peace and harmony. And what we aim to do is to create balance, most of all. And we believe that when when we are in balance with our body, our environment, with what's happening inside of us, if we're not fighting, we are usually with more ease and therefore less dis-ease. Dean, you spent a lot of time on the road with a rock band. What, I mean, sort of Bon Jovi-ish, or what were they like? Uh, I guess it was sort of a uh, straight-ahead rock kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, we toured all across uh, America and Canada. And when did you learn this shamanic drumming technique? Well, the whole rock energy, it's great, but there's a lot, a lot of ego involved in it, whereas you have to get out of the way of your ego to really make what we're doing here work. I'm just letting it flow. What I, so and how, how would I get into it? I don't know. <laughs> it, just, it just evolved. It just evolved. And do you find during the course of performance, you almost get taken over in a way? You just go off to a higher place sort of thing? Absolutely. Depending on the people who are attending, depending on how open they are, depending on the space and how we're doing, what space we are in, in our minds and in our hearts. There's different, hmm, how should I say, maybe areas, different fields that we go into. Sometimes it might be more superficial, and some concerts are quite intense in the way that we have to get out of the way. (laughs) (laughs) So you never really know what's going to happen once you start? No, it's all intuitive. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. We'll have a go at recording some. All right. And and then maybe we'll have a chat afterwards. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. And feel your 
20 odd people who are here tonight that was just an incredible experience how was it for you um very warm expanding i felt that the people who were here were very open even though some of them might have had um, maybe a challenge maybe getting here because they didn't know what to expect i felt such such openness and love and power in everybody that was here that was, it, it, yeah, it feels very good. Is there a hidden power in the drumming that we don't quite understand, but there's something about that drumming that just opens people up? Well, if you think we're drumming, you know, what your first memory is, is in the womb, it's the heart, you know? And I, I, I think it goes down to that level, that beat, you know, at some level you, you remember that. Yeah. I would say I would add also the power of the rhythm that is repeated all the time takes our brain in a certain, it changes the brain patterns and our brain waves are, we go in, in a slight trance and then this it makes it easier to get into altered space, altered states. And every time you do a performance like this, is it always different? How do you know what sort of, what to play in that? You started off with a lot of energy and then it ended very gently, so that's a way to sort of like kind of lift people up and then just lower them down again at the end. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's intuitive. The whole thing is intuitive. And um, Marie José is, is, is the conductor, if you like, in the sense that we feed off of each other. Like um, it's, mm -hmm. it's a back and forth. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and usually what happens is in the beginning, people need to be grounded. You know, we all, we work very hard all day. Our minds are all over the place. We're worried about all sorts of stuff. And, and so we, we come here, we sit down and then, okay, what's going to happen now? And then we're still thinking of this and that. So the first uh, minutes are usually to help people ground. So we have these very... Um, you know, low drums, repetitive uh, patterns. And so guided meditation, guided relaxation is usually what happens in the, in the beginning of our, of our um, 
quote unquote performances, if we can call them that way. And then, and then usually what happens is as we are connecting with maybe the lower parts of our bodies, which are, you know, closer to the ground, so the feet, the leg, and usually I start feeling kind of ooh, a, a little bit of chaos, a little bit of pulling and pushing. And, and sometimes it can be like I'm, I'm imagining that some people's minds are just going, ooh, what's happening here? Oh, there's heavy drumming going on. Do I like this? Oh, what am I doing here? And all these, these things that I can kind of hear and sense. So it's, it's expressed in, in more of a chaotic way. And then there's an opportunity for releasing the tensions and releasing the chaos. And, and some people are, are used to it and some not. Yeah. So well, everybody walked off looking very blissful. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. But yeah. well, thank you very much. Thank you. For the performance thank so and thank you for letting me record it for the podcast. You are so welcome. Great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Yes. MJ and Dean, two exceedingly good people and extremely talented too. And it was a wonderful experience to be in the yoga sanctuary that night. And that's it for this edition of Alternative Johnny Walker. And my thanks to Coso and to Daniel Kaner for their help on the show. Thank you for choosing this podcast. Spread the word to those who you think may be interested. And uh, join us again next week. Till then, Johnny Walker saying take good care of yourself and those you love. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in a week's time. Bye-bye now. Bye.